Hello my lovelies, you're welcome back to my channel. My name is Silen, very very pleased to meet you. If you have watched any of my videos and you're back to watch another one, I love you so much. Thank you very much for all your support. And if this is your first time here, join the family, join the Silen family, hit the subscribe button down below. Today I'm going to show you guys how to make a top and how to style it in five different ways. For this top, you're going to need a fabric, chalk, measuring tape and scissors. So that is your fabric, chalk or marker. You also need your measuring tape and you also need your scissors, okay? Something sharp, something that you can easily use to cut your fabric. I have a video on my channel where I show you how to make a top and how to style it in 10 different ways. Unlike this one that I'm just showing you five ways, in that other video, I show you how to style it in 10 different ways. So when you're done watching this video, definitely check that video out. The link will be right here. Now for the fabric you need for this project, you need a fabric that is self-finished, okay? Now, a self-finished fabric is a fabric that does not fray when you cut it with the scissors. So you need a fabric that does not fray when you cut it with the scissors, all right? That is very, very important. However, you don't need a solid fabric. Now, what do I mean by solid fabric? A solid fabric is a fabric that the right side and the wrong side are identical. So as you can see with this one, the right side and the wrong side are not identical, okay? So you don't need a solid fabric for this project. Although if you have a solid fabric, that would be great. You can use a solid fabric or a fabric that is not solid. Whichever one you decide to use is entirely your choice but you have you need you must use a self-finished fabric so when you cut it it does not fray since there will be no hemming no sewing you need it to cut smoothly okay so those are the items you need to make this um, no sew project so if you want to see how i make this um, no sew top and style it in five different ways then definitely keep on watching without further ado let's get right into the video oh hey i didn't see you there <laughs> I'm using one yard of fabric for this. Now the first thing I'm doing is I'm folding the fabric widthwise, not in half, but almost in half. Now I'm folding it lengthwise as well, and then just spreading that, making sure that everything is nice and neat. Now my waist measurement is 28 inches, but I'm gonna be using 25 inches. Now I'm gonna place my um, the zero mark of my tape at that 25 inches mark and then fold my tape yet again. So that means I'm dividing the 25 inches by four. Now I'm just gonna place that where it fits on the fabric on the top left corner. And then I'm gonna measure, measure that, that's about three inches. So from the um, top, from that um, tip to where I mark that line is about three and a half inches. So I'm just um, cutting a curve. Now once that's done, I'm just going to measure the fabric from that curve and that's about 13 inches. So I'm just making sure that I replicate that 13 inches all the way so I have a, a smooth curve. Now I know you're probably wondering why I told, I told you about um, um, my waist measurements being 28 inches and that's what I used to cut um, the neck. Now the reason why I use 28 inches which is my waist measurement is because I find that um it's easier for me to just get my neck measurement especially when the front part of the neck and the back part of the neck are um the same so it's like the same all through i find that it's actually easier for me to just use my waist measurement to cut the neckline so that's just the reason why you can um actually just go ahead and use three and a half inches for the width and the depth of your neck now what i did was i simply just drew a curve after cutting the 13 inches for the top part since it's going to be a high low top i simply just drew a curve for the rest of the fabric so that i can just cut the um back part that's longer now once i'm done with that i simply just opened up the fabric and then folded it again but this time i folded it um, lengthwise and once you know initially i folded it twice widthwise first and then lengthwise but now i'm just folding it um lengthwise once so i can use the first um parts i i cut to cut the other side so now i'm cutting the the um shorter part of the top which is the front part just making sure that it mirrors the 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 one i cut initially and i'm also cutting the back part which is the longer part also making sure that it mirrors the one i cut the first time 
so as you can see it's just a nice curve all the way through and this is what it looks like now i'm going to show you guys how to wear this lovely lovely top and how to style it in five different ways now the first way is to just put it over your neck very simple very easy and then there you have it that's the back long and the front short it's just a lovely circle high low top and yeah you can rock this like this with a high waist jean like i am like i'm doing right now or you can wear it with a skirt whatever it is you want guys you can literally just play with this and yeah it's really really cute now this is what it looks like yep now what i'm, I'm going to show you guys how to rock is in other ways as well i really love this look let me know guys what look is your favorite i'm going to i'm going to show you guys my favorite look in a minute but just hold on okay <laughs> now this is the second way to rock this um top all you have to do is simply just pull the um the neckline a bit so your um a bit of your shoulder is revealed so it's kind of like an asymmetric um um asymmetric um top so it's like a one shoulder kind of top and now this is the third way pull the other side of the neckline because this fabric is stretchy you can honestly pull the neckline to be wider so i simply just pulled it down so my so both of my shoulders are revealed and that gives us an off shoulder top okay now let's go the fourth way to rock this top simply bring one of your arms out and there you have it this is honestly my favorite way to rock this top this is honestly my favorite i just love how comfortable how cute how flattering it is i also love that one arm is out and looks really really good i really love how this looks i just love the whole asymmetric detail how all of how the whole top just goes one side i really love it and now the final way to rock this top bring the other arm out and there you have it a handless circle top so beautiful so flattering i would wear it with a lovely lovely bold statement neck piece or a necklace and that would honestly just transform this whole look this is so 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 beautiful so flattering i really really love all these styles guys let me know if this is something you would try if you do try it out please don't forget to tag me on instagram as the underscore silem i would love to see your recreations of this top let me know what fabric you decide to use and all that. Okay, my lovelies, we've come to the end of this video. This is absolutely my favorite, this one right here. I love the fact that one of my arms is out completely and this one is on me and just has this whole asymmetric detail this whole mono sleeve asymmetric vibe i really really love this style let me know which of these styles is your favorite i'm gonna put numbers on all the styles so just simply comment the number that is your favorite let me know what you think about the styles as well let me know if it's something you try out and if you do try it out don't forget to tag me on instagram at d underscore silent Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.